they are now uh, presenting it without proper notice to us. But we have satisfied the High Court. No, no, let me just correct you here. Election Commission is not just a quasi judicial body, it's a constitutional body. Do you respond to this factual query? Hai. Not, not, don't argue the case. Uh, Mr. Maghdoum Ali Khan says that there was no commission uh, constituted by the political parties. This is factually correct. No, incorrect. So where Actually, is the document showing? A, uh, Nindu, where is the document to show us the commission's constitution? So that's why I was saying for for a while because they are now uh, presenting it without proper notice to us. But we have satisfied the High Court. And one more thing which I want to say. No, no, Khan sir, we will certainly hear you. Don't worry. Because when a factual statement is made by counsel, the way I like to proceed is I want to narrow the controversy as much as possible. If that factually is correct, I will take it as correct. So I always call upon the other side sometimes, is this factually correct? They say yes, no. So then we will say, then the question will arise, where is the proof of it? So if either you accept his statement or you don't accept his statement, you can certainly uh, refer to any document or something you filed. We certainly will consider that. Sir, but one thing which I wanted to request, pro provide to coming on the facts of the case, the question of maintainability may, kind of, may be allowed to make my submissions on maintainability, local standi of election No, but Shaki, if we talk about maintainability, then you'll have to argue first. Yes. On the question of maintainability. Yeah, but the then, then because you, you said you wanted some time to prepare yourself, so we are just getting the facts because, you know, you may, may not have time enough. So we're just trying to save time. So we're just going through the case to understand it. And yes, you can say, uh, uh, I, I reserve my right to uh, argue on maintainability. We certainly will hear you. But we're just trying to cover some ground because probably you're not ready yet. Right. Fine, that's fair enough and we will give you time. I have, but a preliminary objection can be heard prior to... But then provided you are ready to argue it. If you're ready to argue it, we'll hear you. On, on the preliminary objection that they have no local standard to... Fine, do you want to argue it now? We'll hear you. Yes, yes that's... A, a, ready with it. argue now. Because... Because you never said so. <laughs> that's why I, you said you will argue tomorrow. So that's yes, why we said, that's, okay. Uh, that's about the facts and other things. But right now, the relevant thing is whether they have to show how do they have the local standard to file this petition. Election Commission is a quasi-judicial body. Correct. Two, two judgments no, no, of this no, honorable... No, no, let me just correct you here. Election Commission is not just a quasi judicial body, it's a constitutional body. Constitutional It has, body. from my understanding, right. it has two functions. Right, sir. One, First regulating one. the affairs of political parties and which is the ongoing exercise and the other is uh, the free and fair elections. So, okay. so probably we are at the moment in the first thing that regulating the affairs of the political party. Right. I would imagine, unless I'm wrong. I'm trying to uh, submit here is that it is a body which has empowered to make quasi-judicial decisions. It is it's a quasi-judicial body when of the course. matter of dispute between. It's so their uh, decisions are uh, orders. They can be this absolutely court has very recently held in two cases that such bodies have no local standard to file the petition and come before the Supreme Court in defense of their own orders. So currently consider those two judgments. In the light of those judgments, they have no local uh, standard uh, to be here. Uh, uh, this is a constitutional body. Hai. Uh, uh, ek second. Even constitutional a, body. Ek second. Even the collector appeals comes to the High Court, comes to the Supreme Court, when even though it's his own order, he is arguing his own order, effectively speaking. So, this is constitutional body. Hai. To just to, Maybe, dekhi, yes. dekhi, then, then, then there will be another issue. Then, then another question of maintainability will arise. <laughs> if you are questioning their maintainability, then the question of your maintainability will arise. How can you approach sure. a High Court? Naturally, any adverse order I have, I have right to challenge. No, no, no. Which forum? The High Supreme Court. Abhi ab pehla case suna na. APML. 
वो कानून में लिखा है ये टू कम टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डायरेक्ट अपील है वो डायरेक्ट अपील है तो फिर वो क्वेश्चन ऑफ मेंटेनेबिलिटी विल आल्सो कट यू नो सर द थिंग इज एज फॉर एज देयर लोकल स्टैंडर्ड इज कंसर्न देयर आर टू जजमेंट्स के स्टैट्यूटरी बॉडीज सिंपल लोकल स्टैंडर्ड सिंपल सी बात है ना लोकल स्टैंडर्ड इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग फ्रॉम कैपेसिटी देयर लोकल स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम व्हाट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज दे हैव पास्ड एन ऑर्डर they as right or wrong is a different thing we don't go there and they say if we have to ensure our orders are abided by unless set aside by a law of comp- a competent forum so all they are doing is ensuring that even if it's an illegal order let's not get uh, bogged down in that debate if they just give up then the orders will be rendered meaningless is it then the a party affected party which brought the matter before the election commission mm-hmm. has the local standard to file but not the election commission they like, like uh, uh, affected party can inform the election commission for whatever reason they election, were before no, the can election commission may act on its own election input commission may act on the information of a person but now that they have passed an order they are not entitled to defend their own order no. and surrender that's what i'm submitting yes, on what, like on what basis can you see the case of a district judge he passes an order hmm. that order is challenged before the high court high court sets that side can the district judge come before the supreme court that in defense of his own order no it's a judicial body a judicial a, 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 body there, there cannot is, there is a slight the difference a, not a slight difference a major constitutional difference would arise the district judge falls under the hierarchy of courts to be supervised and controlled by the high court under article i don't know what is it maghdum what about it is. whatever it is i'm well, just giving uh, an example ek second nahi nahi wo example lagega nahi now this is a separate body you cannot uh, apply that argument yes, the separate body i've given you the example of collector of customs every day they are filing before us collector of custom appeals his own order is come and it's been turned upside down by the high court so he comes before us there are here if nobody is ever raised an objection that they can't be heard there are two cases recently in which the honorable court has held but i kaun se which are those two cases yes those two cases the recent one is 2023 pld uh, pld 2023 supreme court page etc i want to page 516 jm the other one and the other judgment where the ombudsman has any uh, uh, other judgment yes the other judgment is sir uh, pld 2 2020 20 20 2020 supreme court supreme court 586 uh, what was the facts of the first case they, they have held the so first case bataiye we let's go to 516 what is the ratio in that case the, uh, yes they held the order which was passed by commissioner and was challenged subsequently before the high court before the appellate forum and high court which commissioner that he uh, the commissioner cannot come the commissioner so, election commission uh, the uh, yes uh, not the election commission that in that case it was uh, competition commission 